Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into some exciting new updates across YouTube, Google Maps, and Gemini. And trust me, these upgrades take convenience, AI interaction, and navigation to a whole new level. So if you want to stay ahead of the curve with the latest tech features, you're in the right place. So let's jump right into what's new. So feature number one is where you have Gemini integration with YouTube. So YouTube now includes a built-in Gemini AI icon that lets you to interact directly with the video you're watching. So you can instantly summarize a video, ask a question about the content, get AI-powered related content recommendations, and receive auto-suggested questions based on what appears in the video. So let me show you how you can see this. So here I'll first go ahead and open up the YouTube app, and I've opened up my own video here. So on the video, you're basically looking for this Gemini AI icon. Go ahead and tap on this. And now you can go ahead and ask about this video. So if you're curious about what you're watching, Gemini is here to help. So you can go ahead and try all of these options. So summarize the video, recommended related content, how to use Nano Banana, customize quick panel icon sizes, DIY home enhances screen layout. So these are all the suggestions it's got from this video. You can go ahead and tap on summarize this video and this will give you a summary of this video without you even watching it. So as you can see, this basically talks about Nano Banana, disabling system clock, resizing quick panel, DIY home screen, create the oxygen OS style lock screen. And if you have more questions related to this video, you can go ahead and ask it. So the benefit of this is that it saves time by giving you quick video summaries. It lets you understand videos better through AI driven answers. It helps you discover more relevant content easily. It makes learning and exploring topics smoother with suggested questions. Feature number two is where you can see trending places on Google Map. A new trending section has been added to Google Maps Explore tab, so it highlights location currently popular in your area, and it allows you to sort by distance, recently updated spots, and editor's choice recommendation. So let me show you where you can find this. So here you want to go ahead and open up Google Maps, and here you want to go ahead and find your Explore section. So as you can see, it's already selected. You want to go ahead and just bring this tab up, and now you can go ahead and see all the highlighted location which is popular or trending in your area. So as you can see, these are all the restaurants or hotels which are trending in my area. If you go ahead and scroll down, you can find places to stay. If you scroll down more, you can see more hotels. You can go ahead and choose the late night picks. So if you're someone who likes to eat at night, you can go ahead and choose these restaurants. So the benefit of this is that it helps you quickly find popular spots around you. It makes exploring your area easier and more fun. So this is ideal for discovering new food, attractions, or even events. Feature number three is where you have a revamped U tab on Google Maps. So the U tab has been redesigned to prominently display your recent searches and visited places. So it organizes your personal travel and search history in a clearer, easier to navigate layout. So let me show you how you can get this. So first go ahead and open up the Maps app. And here you want to go ahead and find the U tab. Now once you tap on it, you'll basically get all these recommendations. So here you can go ahead and categorize this by area. You can go ahead and categorize this by food, culture, shopping, your saved list, and the map history. So this basically displays all your recent searches and visited places which you have visited recently, and it organizes your personal travel and search history. So it lets you revisit places you have searched quicker, keeps your travel history neatly organized, and it helps with planning and comparing or returning to previous spots. Feature number four is where you can ask Gemini for Google Maps. So know before you go. So it's something similar to know before you go. So the ask feature now includes know before you go. So this gives you a quick important details about a location such as tips, highlights or essential info before you visit. So here I'll show you how to use this. So say for example, if I open up Google Maps and I'll basically search for this airport in India. So now when I go ahead and look at the airport in India in Google, you'll see this new button called ask. So if you go ahead and tap on this, you can go ahead and ask map about these places. So here, these are all the questions that has been asked before and AI is also helping you. So is this a silent airport? Are there any smoking zones in this airport? Are there sleeping pods? Is there a lounge? Is there free Wi-Fi? Are there many shops? So you can go ahead and use all of these templates to ask questions or you can go ahead and ask your own question. So let's just say, for example, is the parking free at the airport? Let's go ahead and ask that question. 
and then now you'll get this information here. So there's not enough information about these places to answer your question. So this helps you prepare before arriving at a location. It saves time by giving you key points instantly. It offers useful insights that can improve your visit. And this reduces uncertainty when visiting new places using Google Maps. And lastly, feature number five is where Gemini app has a new major update on your Samsung Galaxy device. So Gemini just received a multiple update, including a pitch black dark mode, a redesigned layout with quick access to actions, a dedicated My Stuff storage section, natural conversation upgrades, and new features like speeding up response, fun accents, and language learning. It also introduced the most powerful Gemini 3, which is called Thinking 3 Pro model. So to get this, you want to go ahead and open up the Google Play Store, search for Gemini, and make sure that's been updated to the latest version. Once updated, go ahead and open the app. Now in the app here, you can go ahead and try all of these suggestions. So you can create an image, you can write anything, build an idea, or have deep research. Now at the top left here, you can go ahead and tap on the three lines. And here this will basically give you a history of all of your searches on Gemini. If you go ahead and tap on My Stuff, these are all the images that you have used on Gemini or it has created for you. You can go ahead and create new chat. If you go down a list, you'll see all the stuff that you have searched for in the past. At the bottom here, you can go ahead and add the plus sign to add images or files or documents. You can use all of these actions. If you tap on fast, you'll basically be able to choose your model. So you can go ahead and choose a fast model to answer your questions quickly, or you can go ahead and use the new 3 Pro model. So this thinks through complex topics, or you can go ahead and upgrade yourself to Google AI Pro. You can go ahead and use a microphone, and you can go ahead and use the live Gemini mode on your Samsung Galaxy device. On this Gemini app, you have the dark mode as well. So the dark mode basically improves readability and saves battery. This new layout on your Gemini app makes tool faster and easier to access. The My Stuff keeps all your generated images organized. Your natural conversation makes the AI feel smoother and more human. The speed up mode gives fast answers when you're in a hurry and the language learning becomes more interactive and easy. Plus you have the new Gemini 3 Pro, which delivers better reasoning, accuracy, and results. And that wraps up all the exciting new updates across YouTube, Google Maps, and Gemini. So these features truly show how AI is becoming more helpful, integrated into our everyday tech. So if you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech updates, tutorials, and breakdown just like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.